What's up, y'all? So today I want to talk about cycling. Buying a new bike. So this one is mainly for all the, the new cyclers that are going out, doing research, looking into buying their first bike. So I just bought my first bike a year and a half, a little under a year and a half ago now. And then over on this side, I have the bike that I've been riding for the last 15 years, which was given to me by my father. So when I started to do research on new bikes, you know, I started looking at people that were cycling and people that I looked up to. One, of course, was Durian Ryder. And I took into what he had to say and I took his advice into consideration, but then I kind of went off on my own step too, since I felt that I was a little more experienced than most new cyclers. So the three main types of bikes that are gonna be offered to you when purchasing new bikes is one, gonna be the good old mountain bike. The advantages of a mountain bike, of course, is that they're good for off-road, bumpy terrain, you can get some really low speed, so, you know, really good for climbing hills, but that's nothing that you can't get on your road bike. So if you like to climb, you know, hill roads or mountains, paved mountains, don't feel that you need a mountain bike just because of the gearing. But if you're gonna be doing 80 to 85% of your riding on off-road trails, it's a no-brainer that you should get a mountain bike. On the other spectrum, you have the situation that I was in. I live in the city, in the suburbs, and I would say that 90 to 95% of the cycling that I do is on paved roads, sometimes sidewalks, sometimes, you know, walking paths, riding paths. But 90 to 95% of my riding is on paved, paved roads. So it is a no-brainer for me to go ahead and purchase a road bike. Now the advantages of a road bike are that number one, they look fucking awesome. Number two, most people have always wanted one their whole life, just couldn't afford one, which was my situation. But most of all, the road bikes, they allow you to go faster, they're smoother on the road, you know, you're gonna look like you belong in traffic, you know, whereas when you're riding down the when you're riding down the road on a ro on a mountain bike, you don't really look like a a cycler, you know that that commutes and does all that. You know, you don't really look like you should be in traffic. But when you're on a road bike, you look like you should be in traffic. Most of the time, you can keep up with traffic, and it's just a lot safer if you're going to be on the road to be riding one of the road bikes. But there is <clears throat> a bike in the middle it's called a, they call it a hybrid and if you're going in to your local bike shop telling them that this is your first bike you've ever bought the hybrid bike is probably the bike that they're going to recommend to you just because it's pretty much got the best of both worlds so the hybrid bikes is just how it sounds it's pretty much a, a cross between a mountain bike and a road bike but i would recommend them because most of the time you're either going to be doing all your riding off the road or you're gonna be doing all your riding on the road you know for me I do all my riding on the road but I do like to go out a few times a year on the off-road tracks you know into the mountains and ride my road my mountain bike whereas the cyclic whereas the hybrid bikes I would say are more for if you're doing like cyclocross races something like that where it's 50% on the road 50% off the road and if that's your main focus, then a hybrid bike may be for you. But when buying your first bike, the one thing you should consider is, do I live in the city? Will I be riding mostly roads? Or do I live in the woods, in the country, where most of my riding is gonna be off-road, on you know dirt paths? And that is where I would start at when looking to buy your first bike. In the next episode, I will go over whether you want to get a carbon bike or an aluminum frame bike and what the advantages of both are. So let me know down in the comments below whether you own 
a mountain bike, a road bike, a hybrid bike, and that'll do it. Don't forget to like this video, share it, subscribe if you haven't yet, and stay tuned for more cycling tips, health tips, and go vegan. Peace.